we've flown five and a half thousand miles to Los Angeles to the world's biggest Doctor Who convention, Gallifrey One. I walked in and I just said, these are my people. Gallifrey One is the annual family reunion for Doctor Who fans worldwide. Um, we're not just a local event in Los Angeles, but we are truly international. People from all over the country, the UK, Canada, Australia, coming together and having a blast for a weekend. It's a great time. And it, it, it's, it, they've got sort of bigger over the years. I mean, I think when I did my first one, it, they were fairly small, but they've all, they, it's managed to keep that, that very nice uh, atmosphere. What do you think makes Gallifrey One so special? It's like coming home. Um, you know, it's it's small enough that everybody, it's like, it's like a big family reunion. Well, it first started going 18 years ago, back when there was just a tea urn, a Labrador, and you could pay on the door. Everybody feels kind of welcome. They, they've got a big machine where they hit a big button, and it sends out rays of specialness that makes everybody feel beloved. I've heard a lot about Gallifrey. I've got to say, it's worth its reputation over and over. I think you and I talked briefly at one point, this is one of the friendliest it's the people. Like, people have been delightful, very helpful, willing to come up and talk about any aspect of fandom, um, and truly reveling in their fandom. Community here is really wonderful and really welcoming to first timers. Um, so I just immediately after that gala, I was like, I need to go to another one. I need to keep coming to this convention. So, Laura, you've been to Gallifrey One a few times. Yes. Uh, this is our first time. So, I mean, this is the biggest Doctor Who convention in the world. Laura, tell me, what, what do I do? Where do I start? Are you ready? So, it really depends on what you want to do, but the first thing you need to know are ribbons. We came prepared. Um, we were told that we, we needed to bring these. Yes. This is totally a thing here. We don't have this at home. Yes, this so, is kind of like money for, <laughs> for the convention. I think the biggest surprise has been the ribbon exchange, which is not something that I've ever experienced at a con before. And it is such a friendly, warm, welcoming thing to do and a really good way to talk to people who you might not ordinarily talk to. Uh, yeah. Another thing at the convention is the, to do the vendor's room. Already there's weird stuff to buy. So I know yeah, You can buy them. What year is this? <laughs> what year is this? And they've got ace. Uh, they've got the ace figure with the baseball bat and the backpack one. So I might it? have to get that at some point. Yeah. You're selling them. We'll like, see. I'm gonna make a deal. I'm gonna pace myself. I'm gonna shop around. Another thing that's great: the cosplay. Cosplay. Yes. Yeah. I have seen. Honestly, I have seen some amazing cosplays. Um, not just not just uh, in detail mm -hmm. and and the, the you know and the types of costumes, but um, it's it's mainly the scale. I mean, it's it's the. Uh, how big some of the costumes are. It's amazing. I mean, there is every, every character you can think of. The masquerade is the, uh, the ball that happens on the Saturday night where everyone who's worked on the costumes uh, show them off, so to speak. I would recommend checking that out. And, and what about in the evening? Because, I mean, as far as I know, Gallifrey One doesn't really stop. No, it's it's ongoing. Like no matter even when they are completely closed, there's always stuff, something going on. I think I would pick the disco to be honest. Given the opportunity, fans dance, loads of them at once. It's a wonderful thing to experience. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah, um, of course. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's yeah. go.